Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Valheim cheating, auto hockey, call it what you will. Um, in this one, there's a lot of commands that you can put into the command within the game, but as you can see from here, uh, for example, spawning items, this is a lot of items. So, you know, you have something specific you're looking for, you can go find this list and just scroll through until you find what you want. Copy, paste, go back to your game, push F5, and, you know, push enter. That's a lot to do there. So hopefully this makes it a little bit easier for you guys. I created a GUI. So I'm not going to run through much of the code here. Uh, if you do want to tweak this up, I'll run through it real quick. Just uh, I'm not going to dive too deep into it. But I got a message box when you start the game off or the uh, code off here with your game just saying to F1 for cheap menu and just you know it's by me that's just to remind you that F1 is how you activate the GUI here so here's all the GUI code you know not really gonna go through that I've done multiple videos on how to create a GUI if you want to tweak this add to it uh, you know do what you will with it I'm perfectly fine with you guys screwing around with this stuff for sure um, but as you see, you know, I have like a whole bunch of like the items listed here since there's so many it kind of goes pretty deep sometimes uh, This is version one. I haven't really included every item. I got about 95% of the items I would say but I definitely plan to add those along with all the other different cheat commands that you can have um, Once you press on what you want uh, you got some of the stuff here like fog of war We'll just uh, enter explore map for you. You know all these different ones no cost for building uh, down here is where the real magic's happening. When you click the first spawn one, it's going to come down here. Uh, if you had left that blank and had just accidentally hit that button, it's not going to do anything because there's no point because you haven't actually selected an item from that drop down. Uh, it's then going to create the uh, code for you, which is spawn whatever item you picked, how many you want, and what level you want. Not all the items are going to have levels, um, so that's perfectly fine to leave that blank. It'll still work for you. Um, it's going to make sure that the game is running. Uh, no point in uh, running this code if it's not. It's then going to make focus onto the, um, the game itself. Then I got some sleeps in here just in case your computer has a little bit of a lag between switching between windows and typing and whatnot just to help you out there. You can always play around with these if they're a little too fast for you for sure. It's going to send F5 which in the game opens up the console. It's then going to control V which uh, is just going to paste what you had up here, that code that you need. Press enter. That's just going to activate the code you entered. And then escape just so you uh, can clear out that command window for yourself. That's pretty much all you got going all the way down to the very bottom where we just have it where you can actually activate the cheat menu which is doing pretty much the same thing. It's just going to enter I am cheater into that. And then we also got reset which is just going to reload the script. Clear out all the drop down menus in case you just want a fast way to unselect everything. So let's go ahead and see this in action. I will in the description below obviously include all this code. It is going to be through a paste bin since the code is uh, about 300 lines long. Don't really want to put that in the description. And just for those who don't really want to download auto hotkeys, even though you definitely should, it's great for automating video games, your personal life, and your work life. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button down below. You know, punch into that bell notification thing just because I am uploading about two to three videos every week and I would love for you guys to learn how to do a lot of this kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and see this stuff in action. I'll also um, include a executable link in the thing below to a Google Drive so you can just download that if you don't feel like, like I said, learning auto hockeys and downloading that. That's perfectly fine too. To each his own. I'm going to go ahead and launch the executable here. There's that little menu there, F1 for cheat menu, and push OK. I'm going to go ahead and push F1, and here's what our GUI looks like. A lot going on here, but pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, this whole category right here is just for spawning items. Over here, you got some of your more basic uh, cheats that you want. So the first thing you're going to need to do, so I already have Valheim running. I'm going to go ahead and I need to go into actual cheat mode. So I'm going to push enter cheat mode. 
It's going to switch over there. And just, I'm going to push F5 just to bring that back up. But as you see, it does say cheats true now. So we're good to go. So uh, let's say I want to uh, spawn an item here. Let's see what we got. So as you see, pretty long list of stuff here. Uh, let's, let's spawn a queen bee. I just want one. And as far as I know, queen bees don't have a level. So I'm going to leave that blank. I'm going to go ahead and push spawn. And it's just going to enter that code for me. And as you see right there on the floor, I got a queen bee, so I can go ahead and pick that up. And, uh, there it is in my inventory right there, a queen bee. So pretty easy. Uh, you got, you know, more stuff, and then if I want, I can just leave this as queen bee. That way, whenever I want to quickly spawn it, I can just push spawn again without having to reselect, type all this. Uh, we got a few categories here. We got armor, quite a bit there. A uh, few things of uh, arrows, ammo. You got your weapons. Lots of weapons there. Loving that. Your tools. Not too many tools there, but some. Uh, enemies is, you know, all the characters you can kill. Uh, at the very bottom, I do also have the bosses that you can fight if you want to spawn the bosses too. You got your food. Your vehicles. Just a few of the vehicles. Basically your cart and the boats. And then you got your potions and your mead down here for healing and buffs for you. So it's really cool. You know, you can always have, like, your battle axe, one, level three. So I can go play. I'll be like, oh, I need to spawn another queen bee. Spawn. Oh, okay, I need to spawn another battle axe. Spawn. So you can leave these here. But if you want to reset everything, clear it out, you can just push the reset thing here. And that's just going to restart. Push F1 again. And everything's back clean. Yeah, so you can start all over if you want. Uh, over here, you know, you got a few. No Fog of War. That just uh, makes your map perfectly visible so you can see the whole world. Uh, free Fly. God Mode. Which, God Mode's not really what I would define as God Mode. You can kind of move around and do some cool stuff, but you can still die. Uh, especially, like, from fall damage. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, heal. I believe heal doesn't actually fully heal you, it's just kind of like in small bunches, so you might have to use this multiple times if you're trying to get your health all the way up. Uh, kill all, that's just going to kill everything in the vicinity of you, uh, that's including animals. Uh, debug mode's really cool if you kind of want to play sandbox style. You just push the debug mo uh, mode on, and you can have like no building costs, you can fly around, kill everything around you. I kind of look at this as like if you want to play sandbox and really experiment with building up your houses and whatnot before you go to an actual survival kind of style game. And you can obviously turn it off just right here. So, you know, let's say I did all the stuff I wanted to do. I want to go back to just normal play. I can just push exit cheat mode. And that's just going to go ahead and turn that back to false, which I'm going to push F5. And as you can see, it's now false. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, you know, I found this really fun for just kind of creating an extra server and experimenting, uh, especially with sandbox mode style kind of stuff, being able to just fully equip my guy, build a huge massive house with a wall around. And um, I also found a lot of fun for just challenging myself, uh, you know, especially with the enemies, just spawning a crap load of enemies and just have them come at me in waves and just see what I can do or how strong the house I built was and you know, see how long it takes for them to break down and kill me. Which, uh, honestly, a lot of these uh, guys are pretty OP. So, you know, especially if you spawn a single troll, you're pretty much done. All right, guys, um, if you like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you uh, want to check out my other videos, I'll link them in the description below for this game. I did one where... You uh, kind of can get help with auto-leveling your skills and another one where I have it do a few other things like uh, running when you do the Q button because normally you just walk, auto-chopping uh, wood with trees a lot faster, stuff like that. So definitely let me know. If there's something else you guys want to see or have any questions about this, also comment below and let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.